The nine-member committee set up by the Western Regional Coordinating Council is chaired by the Regional Coordinating Director. Representative on the committee are from the Minerals Commission, National Fire Service, Police Service, Health Service, Environmental Protection Agency, National Disaster Management Organization, NADMO, Works Engineer of the Municipality, and the Assembly Member for the affected area. The committee has been given three weeks to present its report. We are also giving them three weeks to present us a full report on the causes of the exploration and also to look out for other causes that we need to check in future. We also want to establish whether the company was up to speed with its own safety guidelines and licensing that they are supposed to go through. And we also would like to know whether the company had authorization to store those um, explosives. And then we also expect the committee to give us a recommendation to guard against future occurrences. But Chief of Ohiamadrin, Nana Afukweku, bemoaned the non-implementation of most committees' reports. What you committee na no one can go but we are recommendations we find you do assembly man or could be put see what and to those who are two committee uh minerals commission uh all the security agencies in our call assembly call we find you do coordinating director the last time from the copy command you see the outing there the way see a negligence in your accident and negligence of duty Committees are always set up after every unfortunate incident, but the recommendations are usually not implemented. This is pure negligence of duty and not an accident. It's not the first time. I said, man, Yahweh. Yes, as a people know, our dear Bibi Bansana, Yatunu committee. The Chief Executive Officer of the Minerals Commission, Martin AEC, during a tour to the explosion scene, confirmed that STA at Sam's Enterprise was operating illegally. He stated that officials of the commission had previously stopped them from operating, but then proceeded to operate behind the authorities. It's an illegal site. When you pick intelligence, what do you do? You go there and try to stop them. If you need security help, you provide them. Eh? So it, the, the person or the enterprise did not have all the necessary documentation approvals to do this kind of thing. Because if it, if it was a properly permitted activity, we don't have, I mean, how do you store whatever led to, you know, if like, you can call it explosives for now, whatever led to the, the, the explosion. I mean, if my inspectors are telling me that it is the same place that the people were living, Nobody will have permitted that. Chief Executive Officer of the Environmental Protection Agency, Henry Kokofu, also indicated that the agency is in the process of getting companies which have flouted environmental laws prosecuted. Environmental Protection Agency permits come with what we call schedule. And in the schedules, there are conditions, both uh, pre and after. So what do you do before you start operating? And what do you do? during and even after the operations. So uh, all these uh, what are flouted uh, day in and day out. Once we catch you, uh, we have to apply maybe administrative sanctions and possibly put before the court of law.